Queen here, life after money, and no coffee. I did have a coffee. I did have a coffee and I made a video with my coffee, but I decided the video was a bit crap, so, <laughs> and I don't want another coffee. So, it's, it's a water chat. Oh dear me. Um, yes, let's have a little chat. And I have a glass of water. And uh, I've actually switched the video off because... Computer off, I should say. I switched the computer off because it's quite noisy. This is what this is for. This is to muffle the noise. The computer is behind there. And that's to muffle it. It's the fan in the com computer is going bzzz. so I've switched it off. Um, yeah, so let's have a natter. Oof, a bit chilly today. Um, Kat is over there asleep and I've got the best chair. Uh, did you notice? New haircut. Yeah, it was getting long, straggly, horrible, hanging in my face. So I got the scissors and I just chopped it about this this is about the length i like it actually um i don't want it too long so i've got a few things to show to i've been making um this is a little purse i've made it is just a piece of fabric really and it's got velcro to hold it together like that and it is lined and I made it this size because this money that we've got, these banknotes, they're kind of like rubber and you try and fold them into a, a normal purse size and you get them out and they, they just spring out all over the place. So I want to keep my banknotes flat. So I made this purse. So I can put my cards in there, I can put my uh, coins in there and it keeps the notes flat. That goes in my pocket or my bag. And um, I've made two of these bags for myself. These are across the body type bags, only small. They're not really for putting shopping in or anything like that. So. When I go out, I quite often only take keys, camera, phone and money for items. So that is big enough. Velcro across the top and a long strap to go across like that. So that is just a handy size for my little bits and bobs when I just pop into a couple of places and it goes underneath my jacket or coat. It's not a good idea to walk around um, holding a bag or a purse or a phone. Definitely not a good idea. So keep things hidden in this bag or a pocket. Pockets are like zip pockets. So for security and safety this is quite a good idea to hide your belongings when you're out. Um, I've been doing a bit of knitting. I just fancy doing knitting. Don't know why, I just had an urge to do some knitting. Um, knitting, I, I think is a bit boring because it's just, you knit a piece and you just go up down up down up down up down up down but it gets a bit boring so I thought I'll do something small and then I won't have time to get bored so I've done some flags and I've attached them to this bunting I've used a bit of lace to attach them on and I uh, started off at the top of each one with 15 stitches and then gradually reduced down to nil at the bottom and I think some people might do it the other way around they might start with 
one or two stitches and then increase till you get to the top but I always do things back to front so I've put two rows of machine stitching to hold them all together I think that's quite nice I made four flag not four nine nine flags I made nine flags that was enough I didn't want to do any more so it's a cute little piece of bunting so what else have I made yes I have um, oh excuse me drink of water out of the tap by the way perfectly good to drink um, <laughs> so I finished this <coughs> I finished the trivet this is the chrome trivet I think I did show it before and uh, it's all done now it's just like a, a sea picture under the sea seabed picture um, because the shape of the waves reminded me of the sea so I've wrapped wool around one two three four strips and, and then in the gaps in between I've used some fabric to make sausages and flattened them out and stitched them on in and then I just blitzed it really with uh, anything um, stitching sequins beads um, I've done some little fishies embroidery stitches um, there's some plastic sort of flowers leaves plants and just added and added and added I got to the point where I have got the middle section empty with nothing on and I thought oh, what can I do with that I thought about putting some octopuses on because I, I did a piece once called Octopuses Garden which was quite good um, or I could have put jellyfish in um, but then I thought no I just want something quick easy simple you see if I put small pieces where I've actually um, wrapped the wool they disappear in between strands of wool so it has to be something that I could actually stitch on so what I thought of was what do you find in the sea you find rubbish plastic rubbish floating around or some of it on the seabed so that's what I've done I've gone into my box of bits and uh, I've put the rubbish on I I think I'm going to call it pollution because that's what it is but I quite like it because it's got a message the back is all nice and neatly tidily covered um, I don't like a messy back so and it's all ready to hang I just put some wire on it to hang it it's quite heavy obviously and so there you are that's another piece finished and it will go into I shall wrap it up it'll go upstairs into the wardrobe stored away with all the other paraphernalia and until such time as I might want to get it out and show um, I'm not sure when that will be or where that will be but um, I shall keep making things because I enjoy making things and it keeps my grey matter busy keeps my hands busy and it's uh, it's a way of creating I, you know I love creating I just do love creating something making something um, I mean you know, when you think about it you, you can you can use the 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 art of creating you can apply it apply it to just about anything you know I mean I could go into the kitchen and create something but that just doesn't interest me creating a masterpiece of food and then it's eaten uh, got nothing left I'd rather create something that I've got to keep um, creating 
creating a, a route to walk to walk outside using a map that is creative think of all the different ways you could be creative you could create a life you could create something to do every day so every morning I wake up and think what am I going to do today anyway I think I might have talked about that before but I can't really emphasize it enough because it is very important because we have to look to our own resources to fill our days at the moment because time is cracking on you know and um, you have to make the most of like every day so anyway think about what you can create what you can make um, and look after yourself I'm not going to get into the heavy stuff today um, I am looking at a lot on the internet and, and I'm learning a bit more every day about what is going on and it is really quite fascinating but um, look after yourself that's that's all I can say you do the best for yourself and I finish this every time by saying I do the best for myself you must do the same you'll be getting sick and tired of that message won't you but it's true you have to look after yourself <laughs> Now, I'll just move the camera a little bit so you can have a bit of a close-up with this. Have you got some water? Keep drinking the water because it is very good for you. Very good. Water, 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 drink. Um. <laughs> <coughs> This is me and Queen, life after money. Oh, I'm going to raise you up now. Bye.